when you hear the word mindfulness, it's very important to understand that in all Asian language, the word for mind and the word for heart are the same word. So when you hear the word mindfulness, you have to hear the word heartfulness, or you'll misunderstand it as simply one more cognitive exercise, and it's not. The Buddhists speak of awareness as a sense in and of itself. So they speak of six senses, seeing, uh, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and then this non-conceptual knowing, which we call awareness. It's before thinking comes in. So for instance, if I ring these bells, what you're hearing is not the bells. You can't hear bells. Bells is a name. The only thing you can hear is the sound in its original purity. And then on top of the sound, the mind uh, adds the thought, the identifier, bells. And what the mindfulness does is help us to actually create a little bit more space between the initial moment of apperception and then all the judging, labeling, liking, disliking that happens virtually in all of our experiencing. So that instead of experiencing our lives in the bare actuality of the senses, we're actually more experiencing life through our thoughts about our experience and our preferences, our likes, our dislikes, our fears, our worries, our concerns, or, or our addictions. And in that sense, not really inhabiting uh, the full spectrum of our uh, innate capabilities. It involves a certain kind of discipline this is the hardest work in the world in some sense, and it's actually remarkable that so many people are now moving to want to cultivate mindfulness in their lives.